Hey, hi, welcome you to the NetMinion Solutions. This video is the first part in the series about SD-WAN technology where we learn step by step what exactly software defined WAN is and how to build and use it. We will also see how and why using this concept would be beneficial for you either you are in the enterprise or maybe for the service provider and we will also check how to transform the current enterprise van to a SD van solution let's move ahead in this particular slide we are able to see about couple of the planes control plane refer to all functions and process that determine which path to use to send the packet or frame. It is responsible for building and maintaining the IP routing table. Data plane refer to all the functions and process that forwards packets or frames from one interface to another based on the control plane logic. It is responsible for forwarding the actual IP packet. We can also see one more plane that is known as backplane. It is also known as fabric. When we are talking about backplane, let us talk about the entry level of the switch like 2960, which has only single ports ASICs internally and thus don't require some kind of fabric or a backplane. But when we are talking about the large modular cores, maybe some data center switches like Nexus 7K or 9K series, a switch fabric interconnects the port ASIC of a switch to allow transmission of data and control signaling. Let us understand by a small diagram. So if you will see the legacy router or the legacy switch, we are having only the control plane which is bit like your RIB and it need to be transferred the data from one interface to another and for that it will be having something known as FIB and it will forward the traffic on the basis of routing decision from the RIB. So legacy device has both of the planes which is the control plane and the data plane. In the same hardware appliance. Whereas if we talk about the back plane, if we have the modular switches or maybe high end routers, which is having the line cards inserted into the chassis, to talk between maybe one and second line card, you should be have the back plane or the fabric which will take the traffic from one ASIC to the another ASIC. Since all the planes were integrated, all kind of API need to be distributed for different different vendors, which was the great problem. Now let us understand how this problem is resolved by SDN. SDN stands for Software Defined Networking. First of all, when we talk about SD-WAN, we can think of it as the practical enforcement of SDN concept. The main point in SDN approach is data plane and control plane disaggregation and flavor of API based on networking. For better interoperability between the systems and process automation. This is an architecture and it provides more progr programmability and control to the network administrators without requiring physical access to the network's hardware devices that are involved in data delivery. Let's see in the diagram, control plane or the control layer is decoupled from the hardware and implemented as a software application. So here the data plane, control plane are two different things and whole of the architecture is now divided into 
three layers forwarding layer control layer and the application layer forwarding layer is containing the devices which is having the data plane or the physical devices control plane are some kind of controllers we will be talking about these controllers in coming slides and on the top most application layer is providing the application guide a great opportunity to write down APIs which are not based on some specific OS or some specific vendors so we can say SDN transfer the networks from following tightly coupled architecture to a distributed architecture instead all of layers on a single device it enables the network to be intelligently and centrally controlled or programmed using software applications. Let us proceed further. This help operators manage the entire network consistently in a centrally controlled manner regardless of the underlying network technology through the software application using open APIs. When we are talking about APIs, there are two terms which come into the picture and those are Southbound API and Northbound API. Let us take about each and every layer how these are working now. So this is layer 1 which is forwarding layer, this is working and this is layer 2 which is the control layer and this is our third layer which is application plane. Into application plane anyone is writing down one of the API. The northbound API is the API which is talking with your controller and it can be REST API along with JSON and Java API. So we have REST API and Java API when we are talking about northbound. So northbound means when your application is talking with your controllers whereas southbound API as seen in this diagram comes from the controller to the exact your physical switches or the virtual switches so when your controller is controlling your f physical devices or the forwarding plane that is known as southbound API which can be open flow which can be SNMP which can be netconf and a lot more Let's move to the next slide. Here we can see there is some term known as Viptela. Viptela provides SD-WAN solution with advanced routing, segmentation and security capabilities for interconnecting complex enterprise networks. Its cloud-based network management orchestration and overlay technologies make it easy to deploy and manage SD-WAN and Cisco in 2017 announced the close acquisition of Viptela so now we are talking about Cisco Viptela products Looking at the history of WAN, we have been configuring, even still today we do, hope by hope, device by device, either it is QS classes, either it is policy maps, either it is routing, security feature, or whatever. In spite we are doing it by the great intention, but still team is making some mistakes. Having large administration overhead need for network engineers expertise with SD-WAN we can avoid significant part of these problems and at the same time nice bunch of additional features let's talk about them improves performance this solution is configured to prioritize business critical traffic and real-time services like VoIP voice over IP by facilitating critical applications through reliable high performance connection it ensures 
to reduce packet loss and latency issues centralized management when same task needs to be done on the hundreds of device let's say it requires a lot of time effort and money maybe in terms of support and there are fair chances of mistakes here different controllers which are gui based are helping to mitigate these risks boost security as the wan solution provide a wide range of integrated security features such as next generation firewall ips encryption and a lot more these capabilities can help to prevent data loss downtime regulatory violations and legal liabilities reduce costs as organization has bunch of cloud based applications it may include aws azure sharepoint office 360 and way more the amount of data traveling over a wan increasing operating cost as the wan can reduce this price tag by leveraging low cost local internet access providing direct cloud access and reducing the amount of traffic over the backbone wan lower complexity so when we will be configuring template and policies it can be pushed through the we managed or from the controllers directly which will reduce a lot of complexity and the errors let's moves forward we already talked about data plane control plane management plane is used for management perspective so sd wan orchestration is a centralized administrative service this model provides a secure cloud delivered wan control and management SD WAN orchestration makes it possible to centrally manage multiple WAN circuits maybe the MPLS or the direct internet access which can includes 4G broadband LTE making network management simpler and more efficient let's see these planes in more detail on the next slide here we can see couple of more controllers name like v edge v smart v bond and v manage so when we start from the v edges that is coming into the data plane layer are the routers which receive complete control and data policies from the v smart it is able to run routing protocol like ospf bgp to create the connectivity on lan side as well over the service provider if required it established secure ipsec tunnels with other v edge depending on the environment then let us talk about the control plane v smart as shown into this picture these are the brain and it is a controller which is responsible for managing all control and data policies by using special protocol named as overlay management protocol omp is the control protocol that is used to exchange routing policy and management information between v smart controllers and v edge routers in the overlay network it is enabled by default so after you start up the v smart controllers and v edge routers it is not necessary to explicitly configure or enable omp v bond it initiates the bring up process of every v edge device at the first step it create a secure tunnel with v edge and informs v smart and v manage about its parameter this has to be fully sync with every device 
लास्ट इज वी मैनेज इट इज फुली मैनेजेबल सेंट्रलाइज पोर्टल टू रन एंड ऑपरेट सॉफ्टवेयर डिफाइंड नेटवर्क एवरी पीस ऑफ दिस कंट्रोल प्लेज अग्निफिकेंट रोल हाउ सो एवर टू कंफिगर एंड ऑपरेट द नेटवर्क टिपिकली वी विल मोर फोकस ऑन द वी मैनेज इन अवर कमिंग वीडियोज इन दिस डायग्राम वी आर एबल टू सी that underlay protocol can be any whereas we as work on the overlay so this whole of the stuff can be write down as the fabric or we can say it is an as given fabric each and every we edge is creating a ipsec tunnel with each other also it is making a secure dtls tunnel with your other controllers which can be we smart we manage and we born in few words we edges exchanges certificate with we bond which also validate we edge serial number and chasis identifier when this part is completed we bond informs we manage and we smart about the newly attached device control connection is created between we edge and we bond during this initializing process at the very beginning device has a single tunnel with we bond though when the process complete the device will pick full control connectivity with we smarts and we manage over every possible means of transport either it is mpls or internet again we edges will communicate to the we bond over the secure tunnel dtls and create separate separate tunnels with different controllers once this process is completed let's see further so if we summarize the whole story again cisco sd wan is a secure cloud scale architecture that is open programmable and scalable through the cisco v manage console we can quickly establish an sd wan overlay fabric to connect to the data centers branches campus and collocations facility to improve network speed security and efficiency here the controllers can be managed by different apis or any third party automation and yes thanks for watching if you learned something new from this video do us a favor to like subscribe comment and share it more and more